Shalom, chaverim. Welcome back to the house of Dimash. I'm Ariel Dimash, and Zayn here. So this time we're gonna react to a really cool group called the Shalva Band. Uh, they performed during the interval of the second semifinal. Didn't they um, compete in Rising Star in Israel? They did, actually. So yeah, they competed in Israel's Rising Star, which gets to, the winner gets to represent Israel right. at the Eurovision. Did they almost like win? They did. Yes, they okay, so they literally made it to the semifinals and it was pretty much a given that they're gonna win. I mean, the whole country apparently like really, really loved them. It's basically a band of a whole bunch of members with different disabilities. Down syndrome. Um, blindness, deafness, deafness. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's really, really impressive. It's all about inclusivity, mm -hmm. and they're super, super, super talented. Some of the members of the group are actually religious Jews, mm -hmm. and they observe the Sabbath. And so when it was clear that they're going to win, the members of the group were obviously concerned because they didn't want to uh, break the Sabbath. Right. Because yeah. the grand finale for Eurovision is, as we know, on, on Saturday, Saturday yeah. which is Shabbat. You know, Israel tried to turn to the Eurovision representatives and they tried to see if they can switch the day so that it's not going to be on Saturday. Mm -hmm. and they wanted to get some kind of uh, an exemption so that they could perform on like a Sunday mm -hmm. uh, or do something, but Eurovision refused. They said the rules are the rules right. and they're for everyone. And we, you know, there's no exceptions, no religious exceptions for everyone, including Jews, even if yeah. it is in Israel, the home country that is right. hosting it. And it's reasonable, it's totally mm -hmm. understandable, um, but unfortunately it meant that they would not be able to perform. Yeah. And um, then they tried to get some of the group members to perform without the religious members. Mm -hmm. um, okay. But it is really sweet because the non-religious members of the group did not want to perform in solidarity oh, with the, wow, the group I love members. That. I mean, it's really tough. So they're just yeah. like really united as as a band, as as a team. I love they that. They are really close. They're really close. Yeah. They're really really good, mm -hmm. um, and they're just a really great example of just inclusivity and just I think in general just the type of society that Israel is. I mean, it's a very obviously it's a Jewish country, but being a Jewish country, there's a lot of people from all over the world that all move there, walks right? Of like life, all yeah. walks of life. Religion, race. Yeah. Literally every almost every single country in the world there's you know representatives yeah. in Israel from it. Right? So um, it's a very inclusive country and I think this specific band just really represents mm -hmm what Israel is all about, and so I'm really excited for this one. I'm just glad that they were able to perform in Eurovision. Yeah. You know? um, yes, maybe they are not able to represent Israel, but at least they're able to perform so that we can see them on, you know, the grand stage the of grand it all. Stage, yeah. So this is really exciting. And I'm glad they got a chance to be a part of something so grand and big. Yeah. And they got a chance to perform. So mm -hmm. yes, it's cool we got to see it, but yeah. also for them to actually experience oh, I this. I mean, this is like a, a once in a lifetime opportunity. It's true. So, yeah. 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 So exciting. Well, should we get into it? Should we watch it? Yes, definitely. Okay, yeah. let's do it. Oh, wow, she's like... She's, she's reading, reading. Yeah. Wow. John Lennon once said, A dream you dream alone is only a dream. But a dream you dream together is reality. Mm -hmm. We dream together. And here we are, on the biggest stage we can imagine. Don't wow. stop dreaming, no matter what people say. I love it, the whole I theme of it. dream. It's dream. It's really good. So good. Oh my god, I'm like... <laughs> I know. Gosh, she has a good voice. She has a really good voice. So beautiful. Beautiful, you guys. I 
I love it. Right? Oh. Got the ceiling. Oh, I love oh. these. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so cute. Yeah. And you can just see she's oh, so happy. So she's like smiling. Yeah. Just. Wow. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. Her hair is amazing so yeah. long. Wow. Gorgeous. God, I, I need like tissue. I know. I mean, oh, wow, the stage too. Do you see all the light? Oh, yeah. Gosh, the stage is just amazing. I love how every member has like something specific he's doing. Like. Like, this is not a shtick, you guys. Like, no. they are the real deal. Yeah. You can tell. This yeah. is 100% genuine. Like, wow. Yeah! Oh my god, that was so good. That was so good. So good. And you can just tell they're so excited to be there. And they're so nervous. <laughs> and they're so excited. So cute. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh. And the audience is just going crazy for them. Wow. And you guys missed it, but right before they started singing, the audience gave them, like, before they even started, like a standing ovation, you know, yelling, Shalva, Shalva. <laughs> it's like they're really well known in Israel. Yeah. So, like, people know them and they love. Love this band. They're a really big deal. Yeah. Okay, we oh, need to okay. make this quick because my makeup, I feel like it's, it's ready. <laughs> and it, like, Israel, what are you doing to me? You are playing with like <laughs> my emotions from yes. like oh Netta to Donna to you guys, Shalva. Like, oh my goodness. I yeah. am like. <laughs> okay. It was really, really good. This is what Israel is about. Like, this inclusivity and diversity like mm -hmm. it's the real thing and like i'm so impressed with the people that actually went to israel and yeah. i'm so glad that the audience got a chance to actually experience this because mm -hmm. like we've been to israel we actually lived in israel we, lived in israel. we got a chance to experience it ourselves mm -hmm. it's such an open and welcoming and a great society and i think that this just really really showcases this in the best way possible Absolutely, yeah. one hundred percent. Absolutely, I, I just, I'm speechless. I just don't have any words. No words, yeah. <laughs> it just, I just, I felt the beauty. I felt the love, carrying through the theme yeah. of dream. It just. And can we just say, I honestly believe, and I, I truly think that if they competed, mm. Israel would have had a double. Oh yes, yeah, Israel definitely. would have had a double. I really. They would have won. Yeah, they, they would have won. won. Yeah, yeah. Because it, it was, it, they're so talented, and mm -hmm. especially if they had a song that was written specially for them, for their vocal abilities, mm -hmm. for like it, it, they would have won. I mean, they're just that good. Yeah. I, it's so impressive. I bet there was not a dry eye, in that auditorium. Not over they, here. I feel. Yeah, I feel it like, running. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, you so guys. <laughs> it was so good. It was so good. I'm just, I'm so, again, I'm just so glad we got a chance to experience this.
Yeah. I'm really glad. And it's also really cool because we're starting to see, like, and it's not just Israel, it's everywhere. Mm. It's just the Eurovision is in Israel, so Israel is obviously showcasing, right, you know, the course. best sides of it, obviously. Mm -hmm. It makes sense. But it's just so cool to see how like, we live in a world today where literally anyone can become anything they want to be. Yes. And your the things that would hold you back mm -hmm. before is what makes you special and unique now. And yep. just being able to overcome those difficulties or do things in spite of those difficulties, it just deserves so much respect. Like, so much respect from us. And we're just, yeah, we're just so impressed. And Amazing. Yeah. Thank you guys, Shalva. And for those that don't know, by the way, Shalva means in Hebrew, it means mm -hmm. calmness. So I just thought it was really interesting. Yeah, like, love yeah, that. Name of the band. It's like the calm band. Oh like the, the it is very calming. Calm. Yeah, it's very calm. They're very calming. Thank you guys so, so, so very much for watching this. Yes, you guys. Yes, thank yeah. you so much. And if you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe. And hit the notification bell so, so that, that you guys could know when our next videos come out. <laughs> and give us a thumbs up. We would really appreciate it. It really helps our channel. It does, you guys. And until next time, bye for now.